So I know this isn't the typical YouTuber thing, but I just finished work. I am working from home. Um, like my makeup has been on for 10 to 12 hours. My hair is coming undone. I'm tired and I'm having juice. Ooh. But one of the highlights of my day was getting this uh, Zendo palette from Natasha Denona. I pre-ordered it. FedEx came right on time um, and laid it gently at my doorstep. <laughs> so I figured I would do some swatches. I've already been playing around in it, but doing some swatches on a deeper skin tone and also probably comparing it to the mini Zendo palette. So uh, here is the palette as you can see, and let's just do some swatches. So the first color is Mindful. I'm just rubbing my finger atop the color and let's put that here. So that's pretty. It's like a, um, a brown, but it seems to have like, does it have like a reddish tone to it? The next color is Luster. Oh, my bad. Oh, that's cute though. <laughs> next color is Luster. Uh, that's actually like something I would do, putting the that gold shimmer and then the brown. It looks kind of light, but when you put it in the light, it kind of reflects a little bit. Let me get a little bit more and see how that looks if we can build it up yeah it's light it's gonna come out light um if you're of a deeper tone the next color is balance which i have no work-life balance all right huh these are coming out a little bit lighter than i expected <laughs> um let's go over that again and it could also be you know these are finger swatches on my forearm. Is that the, f yeah, right? Yeah, ooh, I'm hot too, girl. Mm, hold on. Actually, that's probably making me hot. Okay, the next one is Flow. This looks like a really pretty color. Ooh, okay, yes, there we go. That is really pretty. And the next one in the top row, the last one in the top row is Mantra. Uh, didn't get enough on there. All right, so that is the top five um, shadows in the first row. So I'm gonna wipe these off just with a little micellar water and a cotton round dry my arm a little bit as well okay so arm is dry all right so let's go to the next row so the first color I'm going to start with is aura and how about I also clean my fingers off that would probably be helpful oh and this is my dress that I wore for work today I like it um, okay, so Aura, and this juice is making me so wet, child. Ooh, this is pretty. That's a pretty color. I can see that on my skin tone, I'm going to have to build some of these up. The next one is Vigor. This reminds me of, like, a color in the, um, Sunrise. And maybe even in the love that's nice I think that's a really pretty color the next one is relief let's get a clean finger here there's that all right that's relief the next one is equilibrium we need another clean finger Equilibrium, let's see. This looks like it's gonna be really pretty. That is pretty. Ooh, look at that. That's really pretty. And the last color in the second row is breath. Let's get that on the finger. And 
blue it's like a an icy almost white blue so that is the second row aura vigor uh relief equilibrium and breath all right wipe those off and we've just got the one more one more row to go just making sure you can see that it's all wiped off wiping off my fingers as well and then drying both of those both of those <laughs> my arm and my fingers um a little bit of blue so there's a little bit of staining um all right so then we're gonna hop into that very last row and start with scents girl you know some people ain't got no kind of sense i ain't gonna name no names though that's pretty that's like a coppery color then we've got tranquil child i could use a tranquil night Then we've got calm. I could also use some peace and calm. Then we've got Yama. I don't have nothing to say about that one. <laughs> and then the last one is zeal. I don't have nothing to say about that one either. All right, that is the last row of the palette. All right, so we all know the mini Zendo came out, I believe it was sometime last year. Um, I actually didn't buy it right away. Um, I think I bought it, maybe I bought it during the holidays. Um, and I have used it a couple times but I have a lot of eyeshadow. Uh, so I actually keep my mini Natasha Denona's, uh, Denona palettes in a little spot that I can just grab from if I need a quick look. So here is the mini Zendo palette. And I'm trying to be careful as to not drop it or anything. Here are the colors. As you can see there, I have used it. Um, you can see some little dips uh, and brush strokes. So why don't we start here? That is the color, Ooh. yeah, that's the color Stark, I think. Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of forgot how pretty that is. Ooh, yes. The next one is the color Bare, B-A-R-E. That is just, it's almost like disappearing. <laughs> so this is a color that's not gonna show up super well on a deeper skin tone. Like I'm pretty sure I could rub and it'll just almost disappear into my skin a little bit. A little, like you can still see a little something. Then the middle shade there is stripped. I have been stripped of all sanity. <laughs> That's a really pretty shimmer color. Let's get a little bit more. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And then the next one is Daz. Go in here. I did wipe off my finger. Let's do a little more. So you can see that. And then the last color here is a creamy matte, and that is the shade Uncovered. Is that correct? I always find it's harder to read the shades on um, the minis. I mean, you know, I wear corrective lenses, so. There is that. So that is the mini, mini Zendo palette. So as you can see, I don't think that there is any dupe um, or there are any dupes in 
each palette for each other. I think they are pretty much standalone. I'm trying to like I'm trying to make sure I didn't get glitter on my on my dress. The best thing about working from home is that you could just wear the neck the same thing the next day or the day after that. Whew. Actually, before I talk about the palettes again, this makeup has held up for 10 or 12 hours. Um, this is the NARS Soft Matte uh, Foundation and the NARS Concealer, the Creamy, Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, and I did dust some powder over it. Uh, the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless. Oh, I hit pan. <gasps> <laughs> yes now i'm gonna aggressively go into it <gasps> oh my god i love hitting pan that means i'm gonna buy another one um what am i saying oh <laughs> this is the shade three Ooh, i'm excited um and on my eyes is my palette of the week this is the um metropolis palette from natasha denona i figured it's going to be a natasha denona week and you can also see the inner corner where the shades have like rubbed off because apparently i have allergies and they will not let me be great any day because my eye will water i will put primer i'll pat some powder over it i take like more than i should an allergy medicine and it doesn't help. I will just be on on video with a patch of eyeshadow missing. It makes me very upset. Um, okay, so let me see if I can hold both of these up at the same time. Maybe that's easier. But I still think you'll get different looks from both of these. If you have a darker, deeper skin tone like myself, you will probably have to build some of the colors up to show. I do find that I can build Natasha Denona colors up. Um, like if the first time I go, it's not really saturated, I don't get much payoff, you can go in and just build it up. Um, so I don't know really if that is how everyone experiences them, but like for this look today, no, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I'm gonna talk about it in my like weekly palette um, thingamajiggy. But I dipped into a couple of colors and I did have to go back in um, just because I like things to pop. Like I like it really bold and, you know, I want people to be mesmerized by my eyes. I probably need to get off of here because I've been having juice. It's been a long day. Okay. It's been a long day. Um, also, I didn't say that I am wearing the... Um, Juvia's Place Lipstick in Toffee. I really like the matte lipsticks that they have and they have some really good nudes for deeper skin tones. Like, I believe this is part of the chocolates, um, chocolate nudes, <clears throat> excuse me, and I got all of those. Like, and I love them. Some of them I do have to wear with a lip liner. This one I do put a lip liner on um, just to deepen the outer parts of my lips a little bit because it can be a little stark. Um, some of the chocolate ones that are lighter can be a little stark on my skin tone. But hopefully that little demonstration did something for you. You saw how it looked on um, a deeper skin tone. And I will certainly probably be using this palette within the next few days. Because um, I just want to play around with it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully that was helpful. And I will see you later.